such a great milker. That was, well, that was a good amount of milk this morning. She's a good girl. I'll be sad when she's done with lactation and because we're not going to be breeding her again. So it'll be sad to see her line leave, but it's the right thing to do. She's old and with her autoimmune condition, just that's what needs to happen. But anyway, good morning. It's been a morning here for me. We slept in a little bit, Jonah and I, we've, we're fighting some head colds and so we slept in just a little bit and boy, does that throw your whole day off. I just, um, I need to start making lists so I can turn this day around because I've got a lot to do today. We have our co-op later today. We just have a lot to do and I'm feeling very frazzled. And so I think if I was to make a list, maybe I would feel a little bit more accomplished, less frazzled. Can we turn this day around? I think so. Down in a half gallon jar. Loving our videos, Sarah? I was watching it again. <laughs> well, this is the second time they've watched our bunny video. So if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. <laughs> we're done at co-op, I can just go back and once we're done, we can just go home and then I can finish them. Awesome. Thank you for helping. That's a beautiful and ridiculously scary sight too. We still have all of these to do. I'm so excited and a little bit exhausted. <laughs> we are headed off to co-op. We're supposed to be there in 10 minutes, running late as usual. And then I got a message from somebody that has a plum tree that needs to be picked. So I know, I know, I know. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I don't feel like I'm even keeping up with what I'm supposed to be doing, but you know, when you've got free fruit, free food, I think other things can wait. So I think that we are gonna go pick a plum tree after co-op. Sorry to leave you again, so. I think this is probably the last thing that we, any of us wanna do today. Um, I told Jonah I was doing this. He's still at work. He's working late today. Thank you, Siri. Um, but I think that um, we're just exhausted and it's really hard to sacrifice your time to go and to forage. And they just don't want this fruit to go to waste. Neither so do we. it's kind of a service to them too. 
I agree. You know, she posted it on a classified site on Facebook for anybody in the area. And it's a 15 minute drive for us. So they're not free because our time isn't free and our gas isn't free, but she doesn't want money for them. So yeah, it's helping her, it's helping us, and it's worth it, I think. Right, Em? Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe. I probably will know these people, so. And so. yeah, they're kind of in Emma's school district. But I mean, yeah, my toilets aren't gonna get scrubbed, my laundry's not gonna get finished, but we are gonna be grateful for this fruit that um, we won't have to buy. And we wouldn't buy. We wouldn't have access to this fruit and these vitamins without this awesome person's Turn generosity. State Street. And uh, we can be strong. We can do this. Okay. She told me they were small, and they are, and that's fine. So maybe they won't work for the dehydrating I was thinking, but maybe we can make fruit leather. So she said to stay Whoa. on this side of the fence, guys, and we can take anything we want. So Sarah. Look at the plums. Look, like. look. Come oh, get all the these purple things. Yes, the purple things. They're called plums. They are tiny. Oh, <laughs> you don't even have to pull hard. Oh. Are those good? Those are so good. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Mm. I may eat a lot of those right now. That's awesome. Mom, those are so pee. good. They're your good job. That's your letter P. No, I don't want to. You can move the ladder, man. I know. Whoa. This looks like a giant. And what? It looks like a giant. <laughs> it looks like a giant what? Nothing. A bum? No. It looks like a giant blueberry. Oh. Sarah, stop eating the fruit. No, she's fine. I told her she needs as many as she wants. They're so good. They are so good. Miss, that's me. we don't have enough. I love them! You love them! These ladies say we have enough. I'm yeah. to go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's put in the tramp for a little bit. We cannot play on the tramp. It is not our house. So it is 5.37. Um, we have dinner we'll waiting at home. We haven't been here an hour. We got here around five. It's been about 40 minutes. So let's pick for another five and then we'll head home. Even though they're small, they're so good. And you know, when you forage for things, you know, it's not always the most lovely, the most amazing fruit. It doesn't mean that we're not grateful for it and we will use it. It hurts me to leave so much on the tree still. And we are in for a hard freeze this weekend and I don't think I can come back. Sarah, stop it. So, ooh, don't, don't sit in our plums. Hey, that's really not cool. Sorry, it wasn't actually going to. Children. Anyway, so it does hurt me. But, you know, I guess that leaves room for somebody else to come forage. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. What have you got, my miss? Well, a few, not a lot. The Good. ones? I have like this giant, like, awesome. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay, let us go. He <laughs> scared me! Oh, go unlock the door, hurry. My, the driver door. I guess that works. Hurry, 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 Missy's dying. Oh, well, if you turn it the other way, they'll both fit. Well, what if it's that Well, what if you just turn it? Mm -hmm. She's taking her time, Emma. I know. 
I love these. This is not a sponsored video. Instacrate though, guys. Love them. So, come on, baby. <laughs> She's been cooped up all day. Come on, Dad. Let's check on my bunnies. There's Mama. There's a bro. There. Um. Hey, Bill. Hey, Panda. Chunk. Oh, there's a bird right there. Uh, okay. Cover it up. All done. How cute is that? We need to get them in the netting. They're on the outside of the netting. Is it on? No, it shouldn't be on because we opened it. So the other turkeys would go in. So, let's see if we can just... I know, that's cute. That's the other mom on the other side. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, the other side is safer. Well, maybe, huh? Come on. We like to open it up in the evening um, to let any stragglers in. It's just easier. So, there you go, second mama. Here you go. Sweet birds. I think that's everyone. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. We are in for some rain tomorrow. So we're like frantically trying to get the tent down and uh, get things cleaned up so we can have a wonderful storm instead of a stressful storm. The tent unfortunately had some wet spots from before when it rained and it didn't all the way dry out. So, um, did you open it up in the living room? No. So we need to open it up in our living room. I've got the bottom of the base just out over the garden and then we'll just put it away whenever we can get to it. It may have to dry out after this next round of storms. We'll see. John will run to get gas so he can hurry and mow the lawn. Anyway, good things happening. Thanks for joining us today here on our crazy adventure. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.